But you won't be able to do it without disengaging the motor. Why? Because to get it through this, you have to rotate it. But to rotate it, you have to push against the motor. Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to move this too. But. It does sound to you. I had better luck uh, unscrewing it from the coupling first. I think I'm going to have to do that. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is the wrong Allen key. So then we've established that it's not, they are moving in sync, but they're, they aren't homing in sync. Maybe. Which isn't a huge problem because it doesn't affect the actual printing of the printer. But actually, when you were bumping it, that's what made me think of that in the first place is because it looked like that one was stopping later than this one. Which is how we got onto this whole, oh, well, maybe they're not. Maybe, I mean, the best way to do it would be to look at the camera footage. I had that thought earlier myself. But still, it doesn't... Hmm. It'd be like they're moving at, the, at different speeds, but one's behind the other one. Is that what you're saying? Or one's behind the other one all the time. It was it was stopping slightly later. Like they were both going and yeah, it was like yeah, yeah. Eh, eh. But they both end up at the same spot. No. Like like one was getting power for a split second longer, so it was going a split second further. How much of a nub you got sticking out over there? Wow, you got almost nothing sticking out over there, dude. Yeah, I don't want anything. Because I think it sanded more cleanly towards the inside. I think the further you get out, the more likelihood of it being in a bind. How's your RV coming? Huh? It's going good. You never found yourself a bus, I take it? Nah. Have you stopped looking? Or? Yeah. I'm just going to focus on that. I got to build another. What, what prices were you finding on buses? About two grand. Huh? Two grand. Two grand. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm, I'm debating like you're doing a bus or doing a tiny house or something. I saw somebody on YouTube do a bus where they, they cut the top. Mm -hmm. And race the, the roof. Yeah, yeah, that's bus. what I was planning to do. Yeah, I've seen a, a lot of different ways that people do it. Like with the crane, they'll lift, like, I mean, you, you have to grind, take out all the windows and then grind off the, the supports for the windows in every case. But then, like, how they lift it, like, I've seen people do it with, like, some screws and then, like, nuts. And they'll put them in, like, four places. Uh, they'll weld nuts to the, to the frame of the bottom and then the frame of the top before they cut it and then they cut it. And then they just, uh, they have a second pair of screws that, that they'll just, you know what I'm saying? That I will they lift get the up, concept. They'll lift up the nuts. I have no idea exactly what you're saying, but I understand the concept. It's, it's a really big threaded rod that they have yes. nuts on. And everybody's turning their nuts at the same time. They'll, they'll mark it and then everybody turns. Or you get these big ass clamps. I don't even want to know what they're called, but they're like lifting clamps or something like that. Hey, can you uh, press the power switch over? Okay. I don't realize you were sitting there without power.
You're gonna go. <laughs> Throwing away my booger. <laughs> <laughs> Get another one and do a little monkey. There could be a little metal umbrella. umbrella for my drink, yeah. I thought if you get a bunch of them, you could hang them and make like a little, uh, little chimey bill sort of thing. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Shane said there were a lot of them? No, there were only like two of them. And that was the thicker one. Uh, yeah, so I think it might be that. The way to test it would be to use the other side. Use the other side of the rail, measure off that, and go away from that and towards that. And uh, if we have no discrepancies, then it's, it's the rail that's doing it. Because the motor would be fighting against the rail. I'm not the convinced rail. it's not a, it's not a <coughs> software issue. You, do, you don't think it's a firmware issue? I, I'm thinking it might be a firmware issue. I'm trying to look that up. Um, <coughs> where do I features, documentation? You know? <coughs> so, I was telling him, uh, I don't think that it's, I think that it's, uh, that it's the same problem, that it's the rail. That that rail, it gets unusable, like, at that point, but as it goes towards once it, you it's pass getting rougher. It, once you pass it, everything fucks up? Yeah. Yeah, I did, I did get created a mechanical bond, I guess. Could and, be. It's, it's not enough to make a noise, but it's enough to lose steps. Where did you find the... Um, this is my personal opinion. I don't the know. The yeah. settings for cloning that axis. Is there anything... Uh, most of it was forum posts. You don't have to look for forum, so... Yeah. It's, that's like the bleeding edge stuff. Okay, Should so I it might not this? be perfectly... It, it's not super well supported yet. No, but uh, the theory of sound... Because I got someone as of... 2016 saying uh, a mod in a post as of like late well, 2016 saying it wasn't supported yet, but they were planning on adding it. Yeah, yeah. It's, support, it's been supported since like six okay. months ago or something like that. The desk? It's been a while. Okay. What did you do this? And, and people don't really use it for X axis, they use it for Z, so you do? Uh, it yeah. might be under multiple it up. Z screws. Is that titanium? Uh, it doesn't feel nah, like it. It's not titanium. You know? it, it, it could be titanium. I did cut some titanium so. yesterday. It doesn't it doesn't feel as light as it should. Yeah, because look. Here's the titanium. It's doing all those squiggly shit. Yeah. Wow. Dude, I'll sell that to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hook you up. Did you know? It looks like a dragon's tail. You know if you cut that shit fine enough, you can light it? 
Yeah. Titanium or aluminum. Yeah, I've Got seen uh, people on YouTube. They put they put it in uh, those tumblers. Oh, I've dude. never done it with aluminum. If they, but run, I've done it, with if they run it a little too long, mm -hmm. then it'll explode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> aluminum powder is uh, one of the major ingredients in solid rocket fuel. Yeah. Well, it's it's also one of the major ingredients in, in uh, thermite. thermite. Yeah. But but I don't know that you can light. Aluminum <coughs> shavings. Oh, so what I was saying is, uh, so if it's that side of the rail, then it, it would never home right anyway. But if we use the other side of the rail and go off that side, you measure from this to this, and then keep going back and forth on on just one side. Yeah. And if it's repeatable all the time, then it's that. So home on the max. Out. You said the minimum. No, values? because it still won't work. It's still using that whole like four inches of rail is bad. If that's the case. We've already proved that the last like inch or so is bad, so why wouldn't it get progressively bad? I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, dude, we need, we need to make some kind of apparatus or fixture, or we could mount it would, it to it would be the want an indicator across it. Or we could measure the um, some kind of issues. Hmm. Stuff to come. You don't have that wouldn't work very well anyway. I don't know. Uh Will, I have the white you talking about you're looking for the dual axis, uh Yeah, how it how it slays. I sent them a bunch of links. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get I get four G or me, Augustine sent me, I'll have to dig it up. I don't know, I don't think it's up for it. People have used it for Dual-Z and they would have way more problems with their layer shifting. I found some people that did have issues using Dual-Z with independent, independent homing. Huh. Well, that would be on, on do what? what to look for. Well, I guess it has to be Dual-X. Smoothie doesn't support that, does it? No. No. Yeah, but we're not having problems with Z, we're having problems with X. Yeah, but well, it's, it's the, the same, same, it's the same, same thing in firmware. The, yeah. the control system doesn't actually It, it basically mirrors the signal. In, in, in the um, <coughs> the homing feed rate speed um, was the same. Yeah. I'm gonna go check the other side though. I, I still think we we have a. I think it's those C carriage inserts cause the mechanical bind. One side's worse than the other, and it's it's losing steps on that one side. Yeah, you'd expect to lose the steps going back the other way though, so it wouldn't always be the the one side hitting before the other. You'd expect it to vary a little bit, you know? You'd expect sometimes our side to get there first. And and frankly, the amount of torque we've got on those motors, we shouldn't bowl through any mechanical lines. I actually don't think we have enough amp. Hey, how many amps are we sending to those motors? 1.2 or? 2.1. How about this? At, uh, that, that, that can't be right. At 2.1 amps, those uh, those drivers should no, be No, 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 no. He said 1.1. 1.1? Yeah, we're, 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 we're underpowering the motors. I, I, I guarantee you, if we it's if we jump the amperage up on those motors, it'll fucking work right. I, I bet it will. But we need fucking... We need heat sinks and fan. Uh, okay, so how about this? We, um, all right, so say we fix the C carriage inserts. The other way to, to make sure is these have a okay. stall guard. That was my trunk. So uh, <laughs> what? Oh, he was recording me. I was like, all right, let me fix the C carriage insert. You see that Trump meme where he signs a bill? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we fixed the seat carriage inserts, right? And um, we need uh, heat sinks on the drivers. Can uh, implement stall guard. 
Huh? Of the have you read about the fog guard feature of the the separator drivers? No. Is that not you, automatically you, implemented? No. Okay. It's the latest stuff. Um, Stall guard? Yeah, that the Prusa like it 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 uh if it loses steps that it'll autocorrect and it'll tell you. Oh, so oh yeah, 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 yeah. So if yeah. we're losing steps then it'll tell us and we'll know whether it's mechanical bind or or firmware issue. Because we, true, get, true we get back EMF from the motors. Yeah. Okay, so we'll fix the seat carriage inserts. We'll get heat sinks in the drivers. Uh, we need a fan on the board. But in order to do the fan right, we really need a case for the electronics, which is no big deal. That's easy. Oh, yes. but it really, it really, I'm surprised we don't have a freaking case for that Wi Fi anyway. That do at Wi Fi. We got like the most advanced board we can get on the market with like no case, no fan, no heat sinks. <laughs> I'm not even sure if heat sinks are. I, I, I'm, I'm sure it's like somewhere in YouTube land, like the guys that do it at Wi Fi are like, are they using our board? They have no heat sinks, no fan? <laughs> Where's the case? What the fuck? <laughs> Who are these guys? They did pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Mark them for no refund. What, they live in Texas or something? They used to eat? <laughs> but yeah, the saw guard feature would help. Okay, okay, so fix the seat carriage inserts, heat sinks on the drivers, uh, fan on the board. We'll make a new case for so the fan mounts up properly. Uh, and then we got the probe, on the, the probe will be here Saturday. So. Then we should be should be in business. Uh, I'm gonna machine the y-axis. Um, uh, y-axis lead screw mount. <coughs> oh, metal another one. We are metal. Metal. Yeah. Huh? yeah, we're making a metal one. Oh, you mean for the for the centerpiece for the actual? Uh, yeah, yeah, nut. yeah. Just that little chicken shit three print one. The campaign for the metal. Mouse has succeeded. Congratulations, Will. They, they will win the argument on the metal components. Yeah. I wasn't going to listen to Will, and then we couldn't run the machine because he. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, All right, well, maybe Will, maybe Will does know something. Chris, if, if we go to metal components and this still doesn't work, I got that on my face. <laughs> Dude, Will spent four hours making those parts. <laughs> I know I like metal music better than plastic music, so I mean... I don't know, do you like vinyl? You got a point there? <laughs> well... You can make vinyls out of metal, it's just hard. It's just a harder manufacturing process. Did, did y'all see they, that? The, the, the golden record and stuff on Voyager was, uh, was <coughs> very dull. <clears throat> because it's uh, What do vinyls have to do with Star Trek? On the... <laughs> Uh, As in, like, the I'm actual sorry, yeah, Voyager really spacecraft. Like, oh, the NASA okay. one. That okay. they stuck a vinyl well, on. Well, they did okay. name it after Sounds of Voyager. Voyager. Yeah. <laughs> they did... Hold on. Did they name it after They're both Voyager? named after a ship. After ship. Oh, hold on, hold on. Did the NASA name become way a Star before, Trek? Way before. Way before. Okay, because SpaceX did name some stuff off Star Trek. Or no, no, that was uh, the million... The, the, the Falcon? Yeah. Falcon Star Wars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Star, Star Wars, Star, Star Trek, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what I that is, Star but Wars. you are correct. It is rather on the light Wars. side, and it does not appear to be a little I would never use Star Wars as Star Trek. <laughs> titanium? L lick it. What does it taste like? That's titanium. Oh, yeah, yeah. please be careful of that, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's expensive. It's very expensive. That's not mine, either. <laughs> They're going to want that back. <laughs> you think Break I could bend it if I did that? <laughs> <laughs> Break your damn Hand over the titanium. <laughs> <laughs> And make some darts for it. <laughs> We've got a couple only, of only they're made out of titanium. At least I used to. Well, I don't know, man. Um, I'm gonna call it a day for now, or yeah. We're kind of fortunately we uncovered a lot of problems today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Well, we well, fixed one of them and uncovered another. Which problem did we fix? That was about the one where the very end of the lean oh, screw yeah. wasn't working. 
Uh, we at least know what it is and how to avoid it. <laughs> Don't use that piece of lead screw. And I suppose it's entirely plausible that the other lead screw or some other part of that lead screw is all fucked up. What we can do is just take the whole... Uh, what lead? I thought it was are you talking about the linear rail linear or the rail. lead screw? Linear rail. We can just take the whole y-axis carriage off and just see if we can slide the, slide the sleds up and down. If they're sticking anywhere. I don't know, man. I, I think I'm a, plenty of that when we had it apart. True. I think I'm going to get a bunch of indicators and just mm -hmm. mount them everywhere and just move the printer back and forth. Do it. It's like fine. We'll give you a refund, but only since we I don't have want the a refund. <laughs> yes, you do. Please don't take my do that Wi-Fi. <laughs> a refund, not not that you're returning it. Just get all your money back and keep it. I don't know. We'll buy another one. Oh, maybe I'll give these. Uh... As much as I would love to re uh, love the money, I'd rather have do that Wi-Fi. I'd rather have the. What is it? Think 3D, print 3D guys? Yeah. I'd rather them just have my money. Hey, hey, it goes into developing uh, Rip Rap Firmware. Hey, man, I, I'm just saying, if they gave you a refund for that one, you could just turn it right around and buy another one from them, and then you'd have two. I'm and they'd have that money, they'd have the money back to put it right back into research and development, and we're helping with their research and I development. Like what do you so. think, sir? I do too most of the time. I think so, this asshole in his video, we had to uh, really no, right? redo the firmware. <laughs> You know, you're never watching a video, you're like, oh, see, yeah, they don't even want to give us the board back. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> you post a video that, like, uh, that it's not moving accurately. Who's this Santi guy? <laughs> I don't like his logic. Uh, Tom features it. Oh, God. Tom. Is that good? Uh, remember, we're gonna, yeah, remember we are going to start a YouTube fight with Tom? 